reporter TJ Anthony. He is also on the way right now to a polling location, so he'll be live in probably the next 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. We are going to be letting you know everything, but the weather outside, Caitlin, it's not fun. No, it is not. So definitely bring an umbrella with you, I guess, if you're going to the polls today. Yeah, more so later today. This mm. morning, y'all know when you stepped out the door, it was muggy it's out there. Hair. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. You've learned. <laughs> Listen, if I step outside, my hair will be straight as a pin. It's so muggy outside. These curls will not hold up. All right, everyone. But of course, this tropical air mass all behind that Invest, Invest 90L that moved through yesterday brought us a lot of rain. And it was riding along a stalled front that ultimately helped fire up showers and storms as we made our way into the second half of the day. And you can see where that front kind of set up here where we picked up most of the rain. It looks like a lot of spots, if you kind of cut central Georgia in half, so places like Macon and Taylor County, Peach County, parts of Bibb County, Jones County, even up towards Jasper and Putnam County, picked up anywhere from three to even four and a half inches of rain. Boy, is that nice. You could definitely use it. But you can see some of our southeastern counties left hanging as that low made its way off to the northeast and the outer rain band lifted along with it. It kind of left our southeastern counties a little bit on the drier side, but don't worry, we have more opportunity for rain, especially for our southeastern counties today. I'm going to talk about why here in just a couple of minutes. And of course, time everything out for you. So here's that front. Here's Invest 90L now bringing rain to parts of Virginia. And what this front is doing is trapping in a tropical air mass below it. And ultimately, as we start to have a sea breeze front set up today along the coast, we're going to have all that moisture, all that heat to help lift those showers and storms through the day. And that front will also add as a lifting mechanism. But all that moisture is eventually essentially going to stay in our forecast area and allow for another semi widespread chance for showers and storms today. All the area also under that level one of five threat for severe storms, so we could potentially have an isolated strong to severe storm. Yet again, the timing between four and nine. What we're going to be looking for damaging winds upwards of 60 miles per hour in any severe storms, 40 to 50 and stronger storms. Some small hail also possible. We did see that in some of our afternoon storms yesterday and also those isolated heavy downpours. So of course, we've been talking about it all morning. Today's election day. If you are planning on casting your vote, better to do it before your lunch hour. Maybe even if you're picking up the kids around two, three o'clock from school today. You might want to do that after you pick them up because the earlier the better. A muggy morning overcast conditions could maybe have a stray shower for the morning, but for the most part will stay dry through your lunch hour. But by seven o'clock when the polls close, if you're planning on going after work today, do expect that chance for storms, especially if you're south and east of Macon. So we'll take you through it as we go into the afternoon today. Isolated storms by around three, so pack that umbrella just in case. And it does look like that sea breeze front will roll in this latest model run looking much, much better for us. But nonetheless, second half of the day, you get the picture. You'll want to bring that umbrella with you if you're planning on standing out at the polls. Wednesday looks drier. In fact, it's the drier day. But notice Thursday, more widespread rain out ahead of a cold front that could bring us the chance for severe weather on Thursday. Storm Prediction Center already highlighting us in a risk. And we'll fine tune that timing as we head closer to the day. For now, we'll say late morning into the evening hours. Friday, we'll continue that chance for rain, but clearing hopefully in time for all those graduations Friday night. And then we're dry through Memorial Day weekend.